Hi again all plane spotters and aircraft lovers, it's Monday again and you know what that means. It's finally time for another Monday vlog. This time, as you could probably tell by the title, it's gonna be a little Q&A video, or questions and answers. But first of all, I'd like to explain the rules for the Guess Aircraft Sound competition. I got my script down here again. Yeah, there were many Swedes that helped me to say what it was. Well, now to the competition. If you're new to my channel, you might not have noticed that in the end of my videos on uh, Saturdays and Sundays, there's a aircraft sound. It may look a little like this. As you can see here in the upper right corner, I've given you three pictures to choose from. This time the sound was very clearly from the GE90 on the uh, Boeing 777. And also visible here in the upper left corner, you see the top three. Now my phone is calling. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, where was I? Also visible in the upper left corner is the first three who uh, guessed the sound right in the last video. And down here you can see the top 10 in the entire competition when this particular video was made. If you want to find your score in the competition, I've added a full scoring list in the description down below in this video. I will also update this scoring list every week, so I will put a link by the pictures here in the upper right corner that will take you to this video. So now you don't have to follow me on Facebook to see the entire scoring list, but I would really appreciate it if you followed me any anyways, and I always tell you at what times uh, my new video will be out on Facebook, so you can make sure to be the first one who watches it. That's a good tip to get a lot of points in the Guess Aircraft Sound competition. Well, talking about points, how do you get points in the Guess Aircraft Sound competition? Well, first of all, you have to guess the sound right, but not only that, you have to guess the sound right within the first 24 hours that the video has been public. And uh, the point system looks like this. Yes, if you're the first one to guess the sound right, you'll get four points. If you're the second one, you get three points. If you're the third, then you'll get two points. And uh, then everyone who guessed the sound right within the first 24 hours that the video has been public will get one point. And uh, some more quick rules. You have to guess at a specific aircraft type, for example, Airbus A330 or Boeing 747, or yeah, you can say 330 or 747 too, but just Airbus or just Boeing isn't enough. So in other words, just try to be as specific as you can. And another rule is that you can only guess at one plane. You are able to change your mind, but then your first guess won't count anymore, of course. Yes, that was about it on the Guess Aircraft Sound competition. I hope everything I said now was clear enough. If you have any questions, please just leave them down below and I'll get back to you as fast as I possibly can. Any corrections that I will make in the rules will also be in the description. So please take a look in the description now and then to see if anything has changed. Yeah, that's a problem I do. I, I always, when I finish the sentence, I always go down and look at my script. So sorry about that, I'm gonna train. <laughs> If you want to know what I'm seeing right now, it's this. I'm just seeing a big camera screen. Here is my script. And a little light. And, uh, yeah, the microphone. But anyways, let's put that out. That was a Sony A55, by the way. Yes, now it's finally time for some questions and answers. I got a lot of questions in my last video, and I've ga gathered up. That's a hard word to say. And I've gathered up a few of them to answer in this video. And uh, yeah, I will make more videos like this in the future. So please leave your questions down below. And I'll hopefully I'll include them in a video later. Yeah, now to the first question. What is your favorite aircraft airline? Yeah, I gotta read on the script. <laughs> what is your favorite aircraft airline and livery? Yeah, that's a really good question. I would have to say that my favorite aircraft is the Airbus A340-500, mostly because I've never seen that plane, but it, it just looks right. It's something about it that looks right. And uh, my favorite airline that I've flown on, I haven't flown on that many airlines, I've flown on KLM, Air France, and they aren't really my favorites. Uh, I will say that Lufthansa is the favorite um, airline I've flown on, and also SAS is really good. And uh, me being a Scandinavian, uh, it might sound a little wrong saying that. But yeah, Lufthansa or SAS, that would be my answer. 
And my favorite livery, uh, I've thought about this a lot and uh, I've come to the conclusion that my favorite livery is the uh, all black Air New Zealand Boeing 777-300. Also worth mentioning here is I haven't seen this plane but I really hope that I can see it soon. What camera gear do you use? I covered this a little in my last behind the scenes video. But uh, here is a full list of all my camera gear. I always try to include a list of the camera gear in the description of all videos I make. So uh, if you wonder which camera I use to shoot which shot, uh, just take a look in the description and hopefully you'll find the answer there. If not, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Okay, next question. How do you keep your video camera so steady? I would say a good expensive tripod helps a lot. But other than that, practice, practice, practice. It's really hard for me to get steady shots when I haven't filmed for a while either. How much did all your equipment cost? Hmm. Yeah, that's a really good question. I would say a lot. What editing software do you use? Yeah, as you can see behind me here, I'm currently editing a video and uh, the editing software I use here is Cyberlink Power Director. This particular one is 11. The project you see here is actually the Plane Button DVD that will be out soon. When did you start plane spotting? If I remember correctly, I uh, think I was about 12 years old when I got really interested in airplanes. I don't know why that happened, but just one day, hmm, airplanes, funny. But then when I was about 13 or 14, I started bringing my cameras to the airport and filming. And uh, actually, my mom started filming in the beginning uh, and I just watched the airplanes. And I had, an, I had a uh, channel before called A11QS22W. If that isn't logical to you, just look at your keyboard and you'll understand directly why I use that name. And yeah, I actually have my first plane spotting video. It's still on YouTube. Just uh, search for A11QS22W and you'll find it. Where are you Where are you planning to go spotting in 2014? Yeah, I have some plans for 2014. Uh, first of all, I really hope that I'll be at Amsterdam to get the lost MD-11 flight. I just don't want to miss that. Whenever that was, um, I just can't remember right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make sure that I don't miss that. Other than that, uh, I have some plans to go to Munich uh, within some weeks, hopefully. So if, if there's any of you out in Munich right now, or if there's any of you who has done some plane spotting at Munich, Munich, please contact me and um, give me some tips. And more than that, uh, by the end of this year or maybe even in the beginning of 2015, I'm gonna go back to St. Martin again. Hopefully more than one week this time and I'm gonna visit St. Bart's, hopefully even Seba for the shortest commercial airstrip. And um, yeah, of course, Mahu Beach and yeah, it's gonna be great. And uh, this time also I'm gonna do a lot of more vlogs behind the scenes video so you can really see what's so great about uh, Mahu Beach it's just so much more than the airplane the whole, the whole atmosphere over there is just amazing and you're doing it well yeah that was uh, all the questions this time as I said I will make more videos like this in the future so just please leave me your question down below and uh, hopefully I'll include them in the next question and answer video. Please tell me what you think too. Do you like videos like this? Is there anything else you would want to see? Of course I want to do more behind the scenes. Every time I go out plane spotting now I'm gonna bring my camera and I'm gonna shoot as much behind the scenes material as I probably can. Possibly can that would be. Yeah, English isn't my uh, first language. I uh, I'm just checking if I missed anything. Uh, yeah, before I finish now, um, I will do a, another guest aircraft type competition this Wednesday, so uh, look out for that. You can get many points in the guest aircraft sound competition by guessing on the aircraft types. And uh, yeah, that was about it for today. I'll leave you now with this beautiful shot of an A340 takeoff at Copenhagen. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.